us. Governor Pritzker promised um, in the outset of his campaign uh, that he would end the corruption in Springfield and this would be a new dawn for a government in the state of Illinois. And sad to say it looks like the same old song playing over and over again. Here's what you said December 4th of 2019. We want people who have been left out and left behind to have a real opportunity to not only benefit from this new industry, but to create new millionaires in the black community and the Latin community across the state. JB, I'm starting to wonder if that JB stands for just bullshit. It's, it's a whole lot of holes in this, a whole lot of cheese, and I, and I really hope that the governor understands that this needs to be revamped uh, totally because social equity was intent. We had plans to march on the dispensaries. Governor's office people called me. Congressman called me. Don't march on the dispensaries. Wait. We said okay. We took a week off. Didn't we take a week off, y'all? We gave them time. We took a pause. And guess what happened? Juliana Stratton is all over TV. Not in Illinois. She won't talk to you in Illinois. She's in Pennsylvania and Ohio saying the social equity program in Illinois is the best one in the world. Lieutenant Governor Stratton, stop that. Uh, part of my, actually, my coalition is called uh, uh, SEAM, which stands for Social Equity Empowerment Network. A lot of people who applied as social equity applicants who got together who are definitely in, in the same fight that we're trying to make sure that we get equal justice. We're asking <laughs> President Cook County Board Tony Preckwin, who is also chairman of the Democratic Party. We're asking Commissioner Lowry, who is chairman of the County Committee on Cannabis, to call a hearing and call Commissioner Degnan in and ask her these questions. What did she know? When did she know it? And how was she involved? Because we believe all the things that we've heard about her and her involvement is true. She was a former cannabis regulator and she is not the only one. Several former cannabis regulators for the state are involved in these companies and it is ill. Legal. We want some equal justice, not 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 this giving 21 people who are in in, in uh, cahoots with the uh, uh, the graders and you know personnel uh, who had inside track information. It's not fair, and then giving them all 75. Come on. You're looking to run the same play on us. Recruit some black faces, create conflict amongst them, pitch a few bones to a few of them and give all the wealth to white men. Yes. We aren't falling for the divide and conquer play. Every Illinois resident, white resident, Latino resident, brown, black, should be pissed because how did this company from Colorado get ahead of you when the law says Illinois residents get a leg up? How does this company from Colorado? And now they are in court saying that everything should go forward and they never even got a, 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 hundred, a perfect score in Colorado. How the hell they get? A perfect score in Illinois. 21 chosen companies got these so-called perfect scores. The whole thing is a sham. White companies that can afford to spend hundreds of thousands on the process aren't social equity. We're tired of government and white men being the only ones with access to wealth. Put a cap on the number of applications to, to go into a lottery and to receive an application at one time. It's a slap in the damn face like we're stupid that black people went from being the face of cannabis when it was illegal to being intentionally erased with your pen, JB. Amen. Fix this now, JB. The government has given to white men with the medical industry. Then you gave them first dibs on recreational. They own all the growing. We're tired of vetching, JB. We are a more aggressive version of our ancestors, JB. Your old tricks aren't going to work with us, JB. An opportunity at wealth is what's going to work for us. We're available to discuss whenever you're ready. This marijuana deal is worse than the hire truck scandal. In the hire truck scandal, there was a program set for African Americans and Latinos to be able to get into the trucking business. What the white companies did was grab them a, a black face or a Latino face, put them in front, and they stole $80 million 
from the city of Chicago. This is $800 million. This process is definitely a compromised process um, filled with a lot of corruption, a lot of fraud, and all we're asking the government and the powers to be is for an equitable chance. The opportunity to participate in one of the most historic moments of all time in our state of Illinois, um, aside from alcohol prohibition. That's all we're asking. An equitable chance to participate in this opportunity outside of all the big corporations. He does not want to be the governor over the greatest scandal that ever hit Illinois. And that looks like where we're going.